Hi guys! This segment I'm going to talk about purse care and what to wear if you come to Asia. Um, so after I came here, usually I only, like I think four or five years ago, I only came for two weeks. I wasn't staying that long. So I wasn't really aware of how different the weather can affect what you need to wear and what it does to your purse. Oh my god, my purse. <laughs> Let me just show you what happened to my purse. My precious, precious purse. I'm not going to show you the whole thing, but look at what happened to it. Oh my god, it has this weird... Okay, the reason what happened was I put this purse, because this is like all leather, and I put this in this cloth, like this, this, um, what do you call this? Like, you know, to protect it. It didn't protect it! <laughs> The weather here is so humid, it starts to, I don't know if it's like mold or what, it's not mold, it's not mold, like you can actually dust it off and clean it off, but I need to get it professionally done, my dad told me I can take it somewhere to get it professionally done, I can like clean it off, but I read an article about this girl who bought like a Christian Dior purse um, here and then she also kind of like me put it in here like a protective bag and then she didn't use it for like four or five years or something and one day she took it out and she said it was totally like almost destroyed because of some kind of um she didn't know what it was i think she was kind of like me like totally shocked like, i don't know what this is i've never seen this i used this purse like for more than three years in la nothing ever happened like this and the reason I didn't use it here is because this leather purse is so heavy because um, in LA I just kind of throw it in the car like you just kind of like hold it from my garage to my car and then when I get to work I just kind of basically hold it from where from my garage to you know upstairs to like take the elevator and I get to my desk that's it, that's it. I barely use it that much I mean hold it that much but in Taipei Everywhere you walk, you walk everywhere. Even if you take taxi or you take subway, you will have to walk. So your purse has to be as light as possible. So this girl, she bought this Christian Dior purse. Of course, it's leather, right? She takes it out out of this protective bag, and she probably was like me, shocked. And then. I guess Christian Dior has a policy, like usually all these brand names have this policy, like if you, so for some reason, if it's like destroyed or whatever, you can go back, like I remember my dad bought something from Jaguar or something, like it used to be an old, old brand, this is like long time ago, not, not like recently, and they said anything that, if your tie gets destroyed, you can just come and get another one, just bring whatever's left of it, right? So I don't know exactly what Christian Dior policy was, but she brought her purse back to Christian Dior, the store, and then told them that she needed a replacement. And they said, oh, unfortunately, this is due to the weather wear and tear, and it's so we cannot give you a new purse. And you know how much Christian Dior purses cost. <laughs> I mean, my purse doesn't cost that much, but I'm still, like, heartbroken. So if you come to Taiwan, be careful of don't I want to say don't bring all your good purses or like China or Hong Kong like the weather in all these areas are almost the same like it's humid um, I know Beijing is colder like during winter than Taipei Taiwan and hotter than here during summer I think it's also as it's more than I think it's really really humid there and they're not as air conditioned as us like we hear there's like dehumifier, uh, dehumifier but I use it but I don't think I use it constantly and it was just like I'm so sad and then but the weird thing is um, my mom also had a purse that I bought for her it was also all leather but for some reason her leather purse didn't have this weird growth <laughs> I don't know if it's because her closet has more open air because hers doesn't have like my door completely closes this and my closet door but hers is more open I just have no idea so if you come I think it's best that you use if you like some kind of leather material use pleather but I would recommend you to not even use pleather just use nylon nylon is the lightest um, material for purse I think that's the best. Um, like when I came here, I was like immediately, I was like, this purse is too heavy. I was like, Phew. and then I went and just grabbed like the first um, lightest 
um, like kind of like a messenger bag here. Like also you want to wear something that you can wear over you, um, because you want to be have two hands. You're getting on um, the escalator. Like if you go to the mall, you go to the department store. There's always escalator, so you want to have two hands. Um, so I bought some kind of a messenger bag, and it was like just nylon, and it was like a random brand. <laughs> I don't even care. I was just like I'm desperate. So um, definitely bring something very lightweight. The other thing is what kind of clothing you should wear. Now don't wear polyester. If you wear polyester, it has to be very like free flow. Oh, let me show you one of mine. Okay, I'm back. So this I bought here, it's polyester, but it has a technology called Coolin. It's called Coolmax. And so it's like very, very thin and flowy. And then I actually wear this to go to bed and sometimes like underneath it's like a little bit more conservative sometimes so people like don't show their belly buttons and <laughs> stuff like that and when you wear it sometimes the top it's a little bit transparent so sometimes I wear this under it so this would probably be something I would the only polyester I wear in Taipei the rest I wear cotton um, I I think rayons still is okay, but make sure the cloth doesn't completely like wrap you in. Like I saw some clothes that they have like high high neck, but it has sleeveless. You're gonna like suffocate. Like here, it's so humid. Like a lot of times, I see my friends on Facebook complaining, like it's so hot and humid. I want to rip my clothes off <laughs> and just walk around in bikini. Seriously, you would feel like that when you come here. So. Um, actually, the if you're in Taipei in Taiwan, um, buying clothes if you're like a petite size in U.S., it's easy for you to buy clothes here, and the material here is actually better than what you get in U.S. Because when you get in U.S., it's mostly made in China. So I work in the fashion industry, so I know from the designer that the China, the factories in China usually have lower quality than. Um, than the Taiwan factories. Taiwan factories are usually better quality. So all, most of the clothes here, if you buy from here, are either made in Taiwan or made in Korea, because um, the Korean fashion is really, really hot here. And Japan. Um, the only problem is you have to be a very small size. So I'm a medium in U.S., but here I'm extra large. So if you're anything over a medium size in U.S., it's it's pretty much Im impossible to, for you to find clothes that would fit your style, fit U.S. styles, because um, most of the clothing, um, the style here is like very, I want to say kind of like a hollow kitty, <laughs> like people are stuck, perpetually stuck in a uh, teenager <laughs> style, and they're not really into like the sexy mature look, like, you know like Sofia Vergara, I forgot, in that show, um, Modern Family? Her look would not, is not what's hot here, like I really, like her, she has a body type of what I want and I have that kind of body type like most of my clothes are more fitted but it's so not accepted here like people don't show their cleavage like this would be a too low here um, so here so if you don't like the Asian fashion style you probably won't buy the clothes here but if you're like desperate um, and you're like a small size in US you can find clothes here better quality and usually cotton like really good material, fa fabric material, um, but if you're like a, something over medium, definitely bring all your clothes here because you're not going to find anything. And also shoe sizes. I'm an eight and a half in US. Um, if you try to buy shoes here that is a local brand, which is like a Taiwanese brand, they their maximum size goes up to eight or seven and a half. So I can never buy local brands. I can always have to buy like Clark, like US brand or European brands like Clarks or you know Adidas, Nikes. So definitely be aware about that. Um, so I hope this video helps you and if you ever come to Asia, if you have questions on what to bring and what to buy, comment below and um, those stuff right there are stuff I'm going to talk a little bit after and some of them I've talked before. So this brand is a Safari here, so um, I bought usually all my stuff from there, um, but you can, like, I bought that here, there, um, this, 
Natural Republic. It's a Korean brand, but you can also find this in LA. So I noticed most of the stuff here you can find in LA. Um, and if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!